All right, guys, so on this video, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you a personal view of how I clean my wheels. As you can see behind me, there's a handful of products and there's a handful of accessories. I'm going to walk you through these real quick prior to me actually going outside and show you a demonstration. And of course, the heart of any person who is obsessed and as kind of keen eyed as we are, we're in the garage behind my beautifully kind of custom made, handmade cabinet. So um, this is the start of something fresh, something new. So as you can see, I've got two liquid products behind me. One is a wheel product, one is a tire product. Two completely different products for two completely different surfaces and tasks. Now the undress. I've used a lot of products. As you know, 10 years of research and development, I have now managed to pretty much use every top tier, mid tier, low tier brand out there. And 10 years of buying, testing, obviously making my own private conclusions, that's the most important thing. I have never filmed anything to kind of give my thoughts on really. Um, and I've always found in every product this is, that there's a lack of punch Yes, there are some very good products. However, when you come to the last 5-10% of you need the extra shine, or in this case, you need the extra bite to actually remove and clean the rubbers ready for the moisturizing step, a lot of products fall short. So obviously, this is why you now know that I have created my own brand and I try and pack the product where possible and up to the thresholds with as much raw material per line, obviously each line is completely different, as possible. So the undress, I always say to people, if you haven't used this product, because a lot of people say, well, why do I need it? You know, I use my wheel cleaner for it, or I use an APC. Once you use a dedicated tan rubber cleaner, as potent as this, you will never go back. And I have said this tens of thousands of times, both via email and obviously in store, and the people who have tried this, you know what I'm talking about. It is just an unbelievable product. It really revitalizes the tire ready for the, obviously the final steps. And obviously you've got the wheels. Now the wheels, I won't go too deep into it. You know, it's a, a revered product now. It's being compared to some of the best wheel cleans in the world, some of the finest kind of products. And this is an unbelievable two-in-one formula. It will pick up your generic oils and kind of soot from the road and every tire will be exposed to. And also the more high performance your car becomes, of course, you're going to get the brake dust and the iron fallout fly everywhere. So this is where the secondary part of the formula will come in and actually completely annihilate everything and put that package together. You get one of the finest wheel cleaners known to man. So love this product as well. Now, how are we going to deliver the products and how we're going to prep the wheel in terms of application of the products? Obviously, this is now my third iteration. First of all, I'll just move back to this. This is my third iteration of the trigger. So this is an Italian made trigger. And I've always said this, this is most likely the finest trigger and the most expensive trigger, standard trigger that you can buy. This is before you start moving into aftermarket stuff, which is, you know, 10, 15, 20 pounds. So in terms of a, a 500 mil bottle, this Italian trigger just atomizes product perfectly. Now in terms of prepping and applying kind of, obviously we're gonna talk about the foam kind of in a second, but in terms of the pressurized system, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be running it through a Krenzler 1152 TST, all equipped with our quick disconnect. And this is obviously gonna be flowing through the gun this is the SGS28, made for the American market, obviously brought to the UK and European market by myself. But what I've done with this as well, is I've actually outfitted this with not the, the standard coupler systems and the plug systems that these guns come with. So this actual gun is the ultimate version of the gun. So what I have done is I've outfitted this with the Swiss coupler here, so the quarter inch coupler and I've updated the actual 3 8 inlet plug. Both of these parts are made in Switzerland, highly expensive, um, yet highly effective. So in terms of the precision machining, as you will see, the machine work on this is just wonderful. So 
if you are looking for a new short gun, obviously, like with everything in every market, every industry, there's a widespread of you've got your low price items and your high price items and anything in between. Now, MTM, obviously, are known as one of the two kings of pressure washing. Um, and obviously, this gun does not kind of, you know, reduce any hype. It's fantastic. This is, in my opinion, so much better than the SGS 35. One, everybody carries the SGS 35 every corner shop. And second of all, this gun is exclusive. So it's actually made for a market where they want it more sleeker. So I'm talking about the American market. They want it sleeker, they want it better. You know, the ergonomics of this, as you can see, if you've got the two guns, which I have, I will do the comparison video in another one, is this is a much slimmer and much smaller gun. So obviously it fits into your hand perfectly. Now, in terms of rinsing the wheel, rinsing the product off, what we're going to be doing is obviously my nozzle assembly, which as you can see, it's got a quarter inch plug that goes into the quarter inch coupler. So peel it back, boom. And it doesn't even need to be forced forward like a lot of the other ones. You just done. So this is how what we're going to be doing. So that's how I'm going to kind of rinse the wheels down, the tires. And then comes the big daddy of them all, first of all, um, this is the MTM PF22.2, such a wonderful creation. This is again, an American product manufactured to spec in Italy, which is very nice. Now, again, I'm trialing this new plug, all the pressure washing stuff will come in a little bit, um, but this plug itself, so we already outfit the original plug that comes, which is um, a zinc plated um, plug, which is, not very good. We then buy our own stainless and we actually attach them in. Now this is just the next level, obviously a fitment once again, this is still a quarter inch plug, but again, made in Switzerland. So it's a much higher grade of stainless. And just again, when you actually look at all the couplers and the plugs, they're all made by the same kind of company, which, well, not company, but factory. So the, compatibility of everything is just wonderful. So this is going to be really nice. Now within this cannon is going to be my second tier of actually cleaning the wheel down. And what I'm going to be doing is inside there is a development wheel form, which should be released as soon as possible. Now I'm starting to transition to actually using these products but then over forming it with the wheel form, which is a high pH formula. Again, the high pH, so anything past seven, which is neutral. When you start moving further up north, so eights, nines, tens, eleven, twelves, all these numbers dictate the higher you go, the more cleaning power you get. Now, of course, you get the benefit of the high cleaning power, but then you start getting, if you do it wrong, you start actually getting the problems to where you can start to potentially corrode some wheel finishes. If you do it too strong, you can actually completely damage the clear coat. Now, the way we've done this formula, it is a very high pH, but it is mixed in with a special surfactants to where, it, first of all, they cling onto the wheel really, really well, which means you're getting a cleaning power, activating the wheels even further. But what it does as well, it's, it's not the type of formula to where you're actually hitting the wheel and you're actually starting to see the corrosion effect. So you're going to see that in a second. Really neat formula. Can't wait to kind of introduce the world to this. It's been a long time in the making. So these are all the things that we're going to use. Obviously outside now, you're going to see that we are going to be using our wheel willies. We're going to be using our wheel kind of mitt and our wheel detailing brushes. And you're going to see just how easy it is to maintain a wheel. All right, so as I said, you can see this is connected through a full QD system all the way into the SGS28 and into your actual pressurized system delivery choice. In my case, it's obviously my nozzle assembly. So the tip is always to fire it out of the way of the car, just in case you've obviously had a bad day and not placed it on properly. So it's on. Now, this car has not been washed for three, four weeks. We're in the UK, it's full of salt, it's full of obviously brake dust. Obviously the front wheels have got very little brake dust because of the carbon ceramics, but on the back, to normal brakes, it'll be full of brake dust as well as you will in a second see the difference in color on the wheel. 
and obviously the artwork is just peppered with everything that you find that associated with road salt and the UK weather. So obviously you want to take as much time as you can, take your time and actually rinse away as much as possible. Now I'm starting to see a lot of black. I don't know if you can see that, but it's starting to be a lot of black here. There, look at this. This is obviously, you do not want this touching or well, this dirt being on, on the wheel while you're putting a product on only because you want the product to work on something that cannot be removed by pressurized water. So on the first step, what I'm gonna show you is the non wheel form over the top method. So first of all, we're gonna take undress, prime your brand new trigger. There we go. And as you can see, as soon as you spray, you know you're working with a different level of product. So the goal of this is you want to cover the entire wheel surface, no less, no more. Obviously I like to put it into the plastic wheel arch only because this will help to degrease it. Exactly the same thing with the wheels. I like to give it a good shake. Now, be as liberal as you can. Obviously try and avoid the rotor or the brake disc as much as you can, but when you're atomizing a product through an open spoke wheel, it's not very kind of easy to avoid it, but as long as there's um, an even kind of coverage, that's all you want to do. Now, you've got so many choices. I like to personally work from the barrel first. So I take my largest wheel willy. This is the largest one that I do. Obviously I like to wet this down. That's why I don't have a bucket of water. I like to pre-rinse and rinse away after each wheel. Make sure it's nice and moist. And literally, a lot of people like to miss the barrel. Now, the good thing about the Yum wheels is what you're gonna see in a second now, it's starting to puff up with foam very well. And this is where you actually are seeing the degreases being agitated and actually starting to come into action. Now, a lot of people do like to miss the barrels. One, because they're lazy. Two, they may be a little bit uneducated. Or three, they don't have the correct equipment and the correct tools to actually get into the barrel. Or it could be a mix of, of the three a little bit as well. So, see there, so it's nice and white now, as you can see. Now, I, I take still exactly the same thing that I've picked up from the wheels and I'll just do a quick pass into the arch work. Now, if you do this every time you wash your car and actually clean your wheels, you will never have to do any repair remedies where you have to take your car off and do a dedicated wheel detail. You can still do that every six months, but when you do this with this method, you won't have your work cut out for you. It's just gonna be kind of a simple pass. Now, after every, Every time I touch anything with the wheel, I rinse it off thoroughly. This way you're not transferring dirt from wheel to wheel. Now you've got a few options with this. You can either use, again, my new and development brush. You can use like a detail, a detail brush. You can go into obviously the wheels like this, which is totally fine. Or you can use what you're gonna see a wheel contact method, which I'm going to do on the secondary wheel. Now, I favor that method and the brush together. So what I like to do is I like to go away with the wheel mitt, hit 99.9% .9 and then I take out my detail brush and I do a very quick courtesy check pass to where I go around like all the nooks and crannies, the valve stems, the calipers. But either way, you cannot go wrong with it. Make sure you always hit the caliper. This is an area people miss with a lot. Then again, I just do another courtesy check to where the wheel wheelie may have been missed. 
and rinse again. You want to be as nice and thorough again. I've got a nice clean brush now. Now again, the final part is the undress. What you want to do is just scrub it as well as you can. I always say if it's your first time doing a professional degrease of the tires, follow the step that you see here twice. Just to rinse it off and do it again. But because I maintain my tires to the highest of levels, I know there's a few thousand miles technically that these tires have seen, but the one pass method should be perfect. You just want to exfoliate as best as you can. Now there's just a tad of browning, just a little bit. It's not a pure white foam, which is again, because you're pulling away everything, but you want to just take your time and be thorough one, see? So it foams up really nice. If you want to do a check scrub, obviously rinse it all off and start again. And then the, the best part of this is you just rinse it. You want to be as thorough as you can and get all the soap and soaps out. So everything you've just agitated is encapsulated within the foam. It's loose and it's ready to be rinsed away. So just please be very thorough. Don't do this. That you see a lot of people do. Just do it in even passes. You want to get as much water as you can onto the wheel. Now the color of this wheel is slightly different. You can see I can make a clear indent. It's brown. It's got a bronzy texture to it. This is where the brake dust. Obviously you own a German car. You have to live with the German brake dust, which is heavy and it's nasty. So the thing is, if you use professional grade products, which are very, very strong, it'll be easy. So again, the rear arches are normally covered in like a carpeted material. So it's advisable to try and you know take as much time as you can and do this let the pressure of the water do it it might take you five minutes but this is the best way now again you're going to follow the steps of the pre-rinse as usual and we're now going to move into what obviously i now prefer is the overfall method which you're going to see in a second so again Take your time with the rinse. And you're gonna see a lot more black come out now. It looks absolutely disgusting. Now again, this is where you will see the true power of the wheels coming to its own. So again, just a nice generic film and it's just started to flash instantly. It's unbelievable. Make sure not to miss any spots. You want the reaction to be as even as possible. Now what you're going to be doing is the overfall method, which is what you're going to be doing. So the wheels are now starting to react perfectly and you're going to be putting a very, very sophisticated high pH formula over the top and you're going to get stunning results. Now, as both of the formulas are working hand in hand, what you're going to now do is agitate as normal. Off the car as usual. Wet the wheel wheelie. The wheel wheelie. Now, what you will see at the bottom of the wheel any second, once it starts being loosened off and dripped, there we go. It's just this black, horrible gunk. It comes off very easily. As you can tell, I'm not, I'm not putting any pressure behind my motion. I'm just letting the product and the accessory work hand in hand and do the work. You're just going through the motions at this point. Now you can see, even after the pre-rinse, 
So I didn't put this um, the wheel cleaner on dry. I didn't try to obviously manipulate the, the footage in any way. You've seen me rinse it and you could see just how deep that reaction is. And this is on a maintained car. So it's just, it's such a potent formula. So there, so it's like just behind the caliper. I'm gonna take this. Again, you can rinse off the wheel woolly prior and do it again, but I know the wheel arch is also in a very bad condition. So I'm just giving it the scrub without rinsing. And now, as you can see, it's just this horrible texturized look. You've got to make sure to really rinse it off. Now, if, if you're a bit like me and sometimes impatient, if you want even more water flow, what you do is you take off the pressurized tip and you just get normal water and rinse it this way. This will actually rinse the wheel woolly head because it's got so much material within the head. It holds onto a lot of suds and dirt. There we go, look at that. I'm gonna rinse this twice. Obviously, after, wheel, after each all four wheels that are cleaned, I will actually rinse these out in a manner that I'm obviously using to kind of put them away. And now, to um, continue with the new method, you've got my new UK-made mitt, which will be released any week now. So obviously I'm just wetting it just a little bit. And this is where I go in behind the spokes as well. So look, each spoke, the bead, like this, and also the face. But don't worry, you know, if in the corner, you know, if you've got like fat fingers or like really thin fingers, and you say you miss a corner of a spoke, not to worry, because like I said, this is where the detail brush will come in and you will just do a courtesy pass again. You, you'll go through the motion. Even if you have hit everything, it's just, I like to be over the top and just make sure because there's nothing worse than wheeling this car into your garage or you've got a car show in the morning and you wake up when the wheels are dry and you've got break the spots everywhere that you failed to pick up. I like to go in behind the spoke as well of the rim and that's because if you don't do it over time just imagine this over three four years of cleaning you haven't touched is going to start to be one embedded and two it, it may even start early corrosion of the back of the wheel there we go look at that it looks absolutely disgusting it so obviously you take it off you wring it out ready for the next wheel see the detail brush trick just rinse it out and as I said look so in any of the areas that you think your fingers may have been missed I just do this real quick it'll take all of 30 seconds I know my finger diameter and I've obviously I've done these tests and experiments I've done wheel mitt only wheel mitt and detail brush and obviously with the wheel mitt I know I don't miss anything this is why I only focus on areas which are like the valve stem here the caliper and obviously the center lock of the wheel there we go and of course the tie brush now obviously the formula's been sat over the top. I like to just put a handful of sprays in just to prime the brush again, give it that extra bite. And go to town on it.
this step gets missed by so many people. And then when people come and ask me for advice or they see one of our cars in public, whether, uh, whether it's, you know, just been freshly cleaned or it's a week from being cleaned and they say, how does your tie dressing one look so good? And why does it look, you know, so even? How does it lay so flat? It's all obviously in two things. One, we have one hell of a tie moisturizer and two, the preparation stages, as you can see, it takes about a minute per tire, which isn't in the grand scheme of things that long, but it, it just allows the rubbers to be porous and just ready for the next treatment. I go back in here with this brush and we're done. Here comes my favorite step, the rinse. And that, guys, is my two methods that I like to clean wheels. Whichever way you decide to go about it, really doesn't matter you can use one more accessory or one less accessory one more product one less product but either way the wheels every time will come out like this all you have to do next is dry it obviously protect the wheel with a spray sealant if you want moisturize the tire and off you go so i hope you've enjoyed this video guys and as always thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you on to the next one